Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm sharing with you all my recipe for a baked pami which can double as a cornbread recipe. This is going to be a sweet version so I hope you guys enjoy this. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Okay guys, to start this recipe, I have here my cornmeal. You want to use something that's really nice and fine, nothing that's too coarse. And to that, I'm going to add in my melted or softened butter. Next, I'm going to go in with some cinnamon powder, some mixed or vanilla essence. I'm gonna grate in some nutmeg. Fresh nutmeg is always better. Next goes in some pureed pumpkin, and this is raw pumpkin that I pureed, guys. You don't want to use cooked pumpkin for this. And blended coconut. I'm gonna make sure and blend or braise your coconut really fine. And I'm going to go in with sugar to sweeten. And you guys can put as much or as little sugar as you want and if you wanted to use brown sugar, by all means feel free to do so. Here I have some cement leaves or some bay rum leaves as it's called. It's known as Pimenta Racemosa and I got this plant on Amazon but you can also get it on SD.com. So I'm just going to break that up in here. It's going to add that pamey flavor that we're known it's known for it has that cinnamon leaf in there and it really makes a difference so now all we have to do is go ahead and mix everything together okay guys once you've mixed everything together give it a taste you want to taste it make sure all of the flavors are balanced so if you need more cinnamon more nutmeg more sugar or more essence feel free to adjust that now i'm gonna pour this out into my baking dish and i have not greased the dish because this has butter in it so it will release just like when you're making um bone and you don't put butter to grease the dish it's the same concept so just go ahead and spread it out evenly on the top and if you wanted to make this thinner you just spread it out into a bigger pan okay once it's spread out now this part is optional you don't have to do this part but i'm doing it because i want to protect the pami right so on the top i'm going to just rest some banana leaves it's going to help protect it from drying out and if you don't have banana leaves you can cover this with foil and once you cover it it goes into your oven to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about one hour I will take it out halfway through and we will remove this leaf and then allow it to continue to cook but we don't want it to be really really dry on top so I'm gonna pop this in and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done so guys, the pami just came out of the oven. I removed the, the banana leaves and I allowed it to brown a little bit on the top. So you can do that. Um, I, I need to allow it to cool down properly before I can cut into it. As it's hot, it could fall apart when I'm trying to cut it. So once it's cooled down properly, then I'll cut into it and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Once your cornbread or pami cools down, you can go ahead and cut it into small pieces. Remember it's thick so you want to cut the pieces a little more on the smaller side. And look how perfect it came out. It was not too dry and it was not too sweet. It was the perfect balance of flavors. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Make it? Let me know down below. Comment. I want to hear from you. I know everyone cooks differently. This is just my version. Thank you all so much for joining me in the kitchen today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Please remember to stay safe. Bye everyone.